So there is no wild forest anymore. There are only ecosystems that have been altered by our activities. And so in order to manage those lands, you have to be on the ground. You have to know them. You have to know the people. We need to create a new way of managing public lands. We need to do something different. And it does not mean doing nothing. I don't think we have that choice. Do you think it's possible to manage a forest with this much consideration for the ecology and make it profitable for those who are working in the forest? Yeah, there's money in it if you do it right. But you can't start out on a 200-year crop with bare ground because it's going to take you 50 years to get even the little trees up to where they're starting to put on the volume. And then if you cut them, you're wiping out your growth. These trees, most of these are over 100 years old, these bigger trees here. So it's very possible for us to have the kind of forest that we want. The models that show that are there for people to go visit and observe. These forests are producing an income for these people and they're just getting healthier. So there is no reason that we can't do that on the federal forest because you're getting a poor forest every year for the five billion dollars you're pumping in there right now. And I don't think that's what people want. When you're given a choice between following your incentives and following your mission, you're going to follow your incentives. So what we need to do is think about not just what mission do we want for the Forest Service, but how do we align the incentives of the Forest Service so that they're the same as the mission. I dug down in this, this forest duff here, decomposed, uh, rotting vegetation. So this is the stuff that makes this forest function, that acts like a sponge for any moisture that falls on it. And it also keeps the ground shaded and cool in the summertime. It's just like putting a big insulation blanket over this ground. I liken it to a healthy skin. And when you burn these fires, you burn that off. What has to happen is the communities just have to say, enough. This land exists around us. We want people here on the ground who manage this area. You have to trust the people. You have to keep them there long enough that they build the trust of the local community and the community trusts them.